The Oracle Java Deployment Manager app is designed to ingest raw data from any source and identify instances of Oracle Java deployed in an environment within seconds, calculating licensing requirements for the environment for all relevant Java metrics, including named user plus, processor, and the new employee metric. Additionally to this, it flags unsupported Java version that can have additional support costs or critical security issues. Once you've processed your raw software and hardware data, you will gain access to the Oracle Java Deployment Manager dashboard. At a high level, you can see the number of servers, client devices, and users within scope, along with visualizations of the Java version distribution across devices, along with varying licensing metrics dependent on your licensing model. Additionally to this, it flags unsupported Java versions that can have additional support costs or critical security issues. Next, we have some more details on the licenses required showing for every version, the total licenses required for processor, named user plus, and employee metrics, along with the associated retail costs. This table is useful to understand the impact of being licensed under any given license model. A lot of organizations are undergoing these types of assessments due to the introduction of the Oracle Java SE Universal Subscription Model, where the number of licenses required is determined by an organization's total number of employees, rather than just the number of employees who actually use the program or the associated compute power, potentially leading to significant licensing fees. Next, we have the Java Installations table, detailing all of the identified Java, on which device and any associated user information. We also show details on the specific Java version, its deployment route, information on any identified Java virtual machines, along with runtime information and if it's a JDK. This information is crucial in pinpointing where Java needs managing, for assessing if it's required, its business impact, dependency mapping, update requirements and deployment, all the way to replacement to a different Java. Next, we have the infrastructure reconciliation, which is used for the processor licensing requirement calculation, showing the device in question, its type and structure, devices in said structure, the highest version of Java deployed in that structure, and therefore the total license requirements. This is useful in understanding how Java is deployed on the infrastructure and where processor licensing requirements are coming from. Lastly, we have the actionable insights as mentioned before, flagging which devices have versions of Java that require action along with a recommended remediation. To get started, you can start processing your Java data today and for free by registering an account at app.licenseware.io. Alternatively, reach out to Licenseware directly to understand how to get a grip on your Java. Thank you.